Leonidas is becoming more and more popular in Rise of Kingdoms. A lot of players are starting to use Leonidas. Whether he's in Sunset Canyon or you're using him on the battlefield or even in rallies, he's becoming more popular as a 5-5-1-1 commander or a max skill legendary commander in Rise of Kingdoms. So I definitely need to talk more about it. Since I've done his commander spotlight, now that I have utilized him even on field battles i have utilized him in sunset canyon and i have seen him a lot more in action i'm doing his commander spotlight version 2.0 so let's go ahead and let's see what more can we talk about leonidas Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. My name is Legend Ronnie and today we have Leonidas Commander Spotlight version 2.0. One of the most iconic character in Rise of Kingdoms. Probably one of the commanders that I waited for a very long time to have it in Rise of Kingdoms. And honestly, I still am disappointed a little bit <laughs> by the way they design him. How Leonidas looked in the movies and how he looks in the game. Uh, I'm so and so. Still a great commander in rise of kingdoms when he came out for some reason it wasn't like that probably now with the equipment and probably with uh, new commanders coming out in rise of kingdoms he's becoming more and more popular but he's definitely just working much better than before since we are talking about legendaries you want to know approximately the stars you want to know the cost of sculptures to maximize legendary commanders you also want to know that talents only apply from the primary commander. You want to know that equipment only works from the primary commander as well. Means that for me, he is not a primary commander because he doesn't have any equipment. If you look at Guan Yu, he has a crap ton of equipment. He is a primary commander. I would also suggest, and not just on Leonidas, but on any legendary, to try to keep them at one star, maximize their primary skill. In the future, there might be a lock skill system if you're watching this uh, video later on, but we don't have it right now. And after that, on Leonidas' situation, I would recommend to get him to second star and then maximize his second skill. After that, you can unlock his other stars. If you plan to maximize Leonidas, I would still recommend to go as a 5-5-1-1 option because the third and fourth skill doesn't really matter which one you max skill first. If you have the locking system, then what I would do, I would do a 5515 five, Leonidas. His fourth skill is the third important, and then his third skill is the last one important. If you look at uh, this skill, you get 600 shield to start with and 3% attack. But that 600 shield for just unlocking the skill, that's very significant. You upgrade it and you get what another 200, so that's not very significant. On the other hand, when you go on the fourth one, you have 25% chance, 5% increased damage for 5 seconds. From 5% to 10%, that's pretty big. And it stacks 4 times, that's 40% damage increase. That's pretty huge. That's a nice bonus to get from 20% to 40%, that's something. That's why a 5511 or a 5515 Leonidas with the locking system. Since we don't have the locking system, this is why mine is 5515. But I do plan to get my Leonidas to 5515 when the locking system is going to be live. I have definitely tried Leonidas as a first because you're probably wondering, hey, if Leonidas is a second in command, like you just mentioned, then why did you brought him to level 60 for whatever reason? I used him first because he definitely has some utilities as being primary. Commanders that I know 100% will always be secondary for me. You know them, you see over here on my commander list, they are 40, Julius Barca, Cleo, Tomiris, Takeda, and William, I'm going to get him to 60 as well. I just like the Cav ones to be 60 for some reason, except Takeda. I believe that maybe William might have some utilities in the future as being first. I don't know, I just think. But Takeda definitely doesn't have. Attack tree is good. But Takeda has mobility. So anyway, going back on uh, infantry commanders, because that's what we're talking about. I used Leonidas first. And how did I got to this idea of using him first? I think it's better if I show you on the Sunset Canyon. All right, I found him. So this player from uh, my alliance, he was using Leonidas first. And as a second, I think he was using Ethelflaer for a very long time. Or someone else as a second in command. 
and I was literally struggling to beat him. I already had a 5511 uh, Leonidas, but it was not level 60 because I was planning to keep my Leonidas as a second in command because that's his purpose. If you look at his primary skill, troops led by this commander gain 30% increased health and deals direct damage up to three targets. If the current target is affected by silence or attack reduction effects, it takes an extra 50% damage. So for that reason, I always say that he's made to be as a second in command because in order for him to do extra damage, he has a condition, either a silence or an attack reduction to be on the target. But that player was having it as a primary commander and I ju for a very long time he was, you know, first in the Sunset Canyon because nobody could have beat him. Nobody could have figured out um, his setup. So I got my Leonidas as well to level 60 and I used him as a first. I used Leonidas Sun Tzu and I tried various setup. Leonidas uh, Julius Caesar, Leonidas Barca. It definitely worked. He's so versatile if you want to keep him as a first because he has the defense talent tree which gives him a lot of option. Like you can put a Mehmed as, as a second in command to him. You can put Ettolfle like I was just mentioning. I've tried even Leonidas and Alex. Even that was doing quite all right. Obviously, very various other infantry commanders. And as you notice, in Sunset Canyon, there's a lot of players who are using Richard and Leonidas. So even my Richard is 5421, and I got him to 60 for the same reason. I said, okay, if Leonidas first is not <laughs> working so good as much as I wanted, I'm going to get Richard to 60, and I'm going to do Richard and Leonidas. But I guess my equipment for infantry is dragging me down. Because the only good set for infantry that I have is on my Guan Yu. Anything else that I put on any other commander is ish. And you notice that I'm rank 2. I'm, I'm struggling to stay in the top ranks. It's not easy. Um, I have to change my setup all the time. Because I haven't fought the equipment for a while. And noticing I'm defending with green and blue equipment. But it's still, um, it's still doing okay with tinkering and moving marches around and you know giving them headaches all the time to not figure out my um, defenses i i still have an advantage even with the bad equipment i'm not saying it's bad bad but at this level of gaming or being in an imperial kingdom in the top ranks with just epic equipment blue and green that's probably something i guess that's why my leonidas got to level 60 but i would still recommend him to be as a second in command if you want to bring a lot of super defensive marches on the field then yeah i would see leonidas being used as a first for example what i had in mind to tell the truth was using leonidas and ysg now you're probably wondering how, how did you came up with that because leonidas on his second skill which i didn't check he has 30% defense bonus and he has speed of rage gain by 15%. Now, putting Leonidas first and having the defense tree, you also have a little bit of a healing from the defense tree. I'm going to go into the talents um, in just a bit. I want to talk a little bit more about pairings. And I'm going to show you what I mean by the little bit of healing. And being a def uh, defense talent tree, you also have a lot of defensive option. So that way you can keep AoE from Leonidas, AoE from YSG, AoE from Leonidas, AoE from YSG. So I thought that it might just be a very interesting build to try out. He's definitely going to be super slow because there's no mobility in it. And how I tried him on the field battles, because now that I got into 60, I just had this idea to get him with YSG. But how I tried him on the battlefield was Guan Yu and Leonidas. I definitely want Alex on the battlefield. His max skill... The debuff is amazing from Alex. You want to have as many as possible. You're getting targeted because there is not so many marches and people can pick targets. Go on you and Alex can be a target. And by putting Leonidas as a second to my Guan Yu, it was offering a lot of protection to my Guan Yu. Surprisingly, Guan Yu was uh, surviving quite a lot on the battlefield. So I find Leonidas as a 5511 being about 75% to 80% effective. He is the same as Saladin for cavalry, right? Except that Saladin, you need him as 5551, so you need a lot more sculpture investment. But like I said, if you want to bring them on the same level, a 5515 Leonidas 
it will probably be the maximum I would invest in him. His expertise is great, but it's not really that great. It's just okay. I've noticed this 400% increase in damage in Sunset Canyon making a huge, huge difference. That's why so many people use Richard and Leonidas, because they, you definitely feel a difference in there. But on the field battle, it's not going to happen. Maybe in a rally, yes, you do feel maybe this one activates when... Because, you know, the health bar of the rally is keep going lower, even though the rally is filled up. And at some point, your march itself will go at 10%. And there is skill that probably still gets activated like that. They will keep fixing and fixing. And there is a lot of skills that don't get activated. But some skills still do get activated, even in a rally, when the rally um, is full. But your march itself, it shows the health bar that is lower. So I believe that Guan and Leonidas might get activated that's why he's doing so great against uh, Zenobia probably it's only 10 seconds that's another thing you want to keep in mind his expertise is only for 10 seconds but I believe that for some 10 seconds <laughs> you're doing some damage <laughs> other pairings that you can do with Leonidas because I already mentioned using Guan Yu first Leonidas second I already mentioned about Leonidas first YSG or Richard Leonidas uh, there's a lot a lot of combinations to tell you the truth Constantine and Leonidas I tried is not working so great like just trying to be super defensive is just not working but I don't think it's a good synergy Leonidas and Alex was also okay or if you want to do Alex and Leonidas I believe that also works Leonidas and Harald because Harald is also an amazing commander or Harald and Leonidas is so so I was told that Leonidas and Harald it does make the march very defensive i have him over here he's not summoned yet because he's not available in our kingdom a lot of people say that it becomes very defensive a very defensive march but it's not doing damage and you want harald to do damage so if you really want to put harald with uh, leonidas i think i would put harald first a very interesting combination would be harald and theodora theodora does remove the debuff from harald the defense debuff so if you do Harald and Theodora, I'm just not sure how it performs on the battlefield. I don't have very good reports. But what I wanted to say was uh, Leonidas and Theodora, so you can have more AoE. You're probably a garrison player, right? And you just have Theodora max. You're probably wondering what should you bring on the battlefield. Well, if you have a 5-5-1-1 five, five, one, one Leonidas, you get him to 60 and you put Theodora as a second uh, to him. And you have double AoE. There's nothing wrong in there. Other options, I already mentioned about Julius or Barca, if you want to bring uh, the debuff from Barca. But like I said, he's a slow mofo, like, you have no idea. It's kind of a one-way ticket with Leonidas, unless you're very lucky. If you even get slowed, I mean, I would just camp, to tell the truth. And I was already mentioned Leonidas and Mehmed and various other combinations with Adolfled. Charles Martel, I would probably put Charles Martel first, to tell you the truth, if I would have to put him with Charles Martel. Same, if I would have to put him with Richard, I would put Richard first, uh, rather than Leonidas, because um, Charles Martel has the shield with an increase of 30% damage, so I'd rather try to empower his AoE as small as it is. I mean, 600 damage factor is not big, well, everyone knows that, but I would definitely just um, try to empower that a little bit. Richard has the slow effect and the healing and that helps a little bit, you know, you recuperate some troops and then the nuking power is a little bit big. With Frederick, I don't think so. Probably a lot more pairings <laughs> there is. <laughs> Probably I just skipped some. I don't know if I look at the other commanders. With YSS, maybe it might be something. Not so much. YSS is good to deal some high damage on the single target. Maybe it works. Leo and YSS but this is something they want to keep in mind that he's very slow so personally I would rather do Guan and Leonidas I think it's the best way to go and since Harald is out I would rather put Harald and Alex I think that's the best way you can do combinations now with your infantry if you still want to bring them on the field but I will definitely try it on this KVK as a first you know because I want to do my turtle march I really want to do my five turtling marches super defensive marches and Leonidas is going to be one of them. I have that in plan for a very long time. I've tried it in KVK3 or 4. Which one we won? In 245. I think it was KVK3. 
I've tried my five infantry marches because I had enough infantry, <laughs> and uh, it was okay. People pick up on me, and I was I was really tanky. But now I think I can do this even better. So I have uh, Tilain Zakeda, I I have Artemisia and uh, Ramses. So and do three infantry marches. I think I can uh, do that. So I'm definitely gonna you know keep you all updated about how my uh, five five one one Leonidas performed on the battlefield. <laughs> Going into his talent, since he is level 60, this is the time tree that is general for any defense and infantry commander. Because you get the most out of your infantry, and then <laughs> you get the most out of your defense talent tree. Since now Desperate Elegy requires that your troops are reduced to 30%, I just don't find it so useful. I still have commanders with Desperate Elegy, and I just don't want to reset them, to tell you the truth, because of the talents for 5 points. And look at that. There is no other talent tree that I have for Leonidas. This is the only talent tree. Might be able to do one with more mobility, but then you might have to drop the, the pseudo formation. And going for the pseudo formation, you do get 6% march speed. So what else can you drop? The only healing that he can have, I personally wouldn't want to drop that, because that's the small healing factor that he has that's something that can keep him on the battlefield for a very long time since many players avoid to go on these defensive commanders like Constantine, Leonidas, you know Richard Charles Martel and so on. I would need two four seven talents if I want to make him more speedy and that means that you kind of have to drop some very good places where you have some you know very good talent points. Maybe the new accessories with Mars Speed might help him out a little bit. I will see how I'll figure things out. Yeah, he's just amazing. That's 5511. There's so many people that use him, even in my kingdom. I highly recommend it. Let me know what you think about Leonidas in the comment section below. Is he so great or not? I think he's really great and he's um, an amazing investment as a 5511. Like Constantine. Constantine is a 5511. He's so amazing. I had him 5551 five, because I was unlucky. We didn't have this lock skill system, so I couldn't max his um, four skill as I wanted to. They were all dropping on this one. And I was hesitant of using him, and suddenly I started using him. I was like, you know, F this. He was four star. I put John first, Constantine second. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> Constantine really works. And I started in Sunset Canyon. I didn't use him on the field just in Sunset Canyon, but he was doing amazing. As a 555, basically 5511, because the third skill is Garrison, he wasn't working in Sunset Canyon. I won't regret investing him as a 5511. And I'm definitely not going to regret when I get him 5515 either, because there's going to be more damage for my Guan Yu. Until next time, this is Apollo Drone signing off. Peace out, yo, and take care. See you on the next one, and stay safe out there, my friends.